I was really interested in Katie's relationship to materials and her really, um, I think, quite virtuosic grasp of a real breadth and diversity of materials. As you can see in this exhibition, she uses a variety of very traditional sculptural techniques. She casts iron, such as in the leaves and cultivator. She's cast concrete balloons. She makes ceramics. She has carved marble. But then she also uses a number of appropriated found materials, including some very heavy and industrial materials. I chose the title Cultivator for this piece and also for the show because it evokes something that's biological and cultural but also mechanical. It's a cultivator is a industrial farming tool. To me this piece is the plant but it's also a tool. The form is based off of a seed pod of a queen palm tree. The husk itself, one blew off of a tree in LA by my studio and I sculpted a, that eye bolt form onto the end of it and then, then took a mold of it and then cast the form in iron. A couple of strands that pull this together, which are also strands that run throughout her practice as a whole, there's a real relationship between objects that hover somewhere between industry and nature in this exhibition. In Mother of Pearl, for example, she uses um, what we think is an old ship's radiator, we're not quite sure, which looks like a figure eight, like a very maternal, almost exaggerated feminine form. Um, but then she has encrusted the interiors with these delicate, precious, almost a little bit tacky bits of abalone shell. From one side, it's so swollen and, and pregnant. <laughs> and then from the other side, it is so empty. I wanted to emphasize that interior space and sat with it for a few months in my studio before thinking to encrust the inside with the abalone shells. You have the bowling balls, Katie calls them necklaces, and yet they're really big and you can get a sense that they're actually quite heavy and hard to move, yet they look like a somewhat delicate pile of pearls that somebody might have put on their nightstand or something like that. A couple years ago, I made a sculpture of a giant clamshell and it needed a pearl. So I was trying to think of objects that were pearl-like, that were that the scale that I was working with and I came to a bowling ball and thought it was really interesting to me to think of bowling balls as pearls. There are these objects that were once very precious to their owners, have their names engraved in them and have special bags to take care of them and there's this transformation of value and intimacy that these things have already gone through and that they have like started out as something really precious and then become trash in a certain sense and then by making them into pearls I'm putting that back. <laughs>